Hi everybody, it is Crafty Glamper 77. I'm here with my 11th haul. Um, this, one of these bags is a full order. The other one is like a part one of two. The items that are just sitting out there somewhere are like three items. So I just thought I'd put this all together. I'll put those three items with another haul. Um, I do want to say I am so happy with the comments of everybody that went and got their price adjustments. I think it's awesome. Isn't that great when you start seeing the money that you've spent towards your purchase, getting a little bit of it back for a credit? Um, yeah, I just think that's great. I've had comments where some people have gotten back $6, $9. I think there was somebody that got more than that. So it was definitely worth what, just a few little clicks and a few seconds of your time. But um, if you didn't see that, that is on my 10th haul. I just put it up a couple of days ago. So it's haul number 10. Um, you can go in there and find it. And it's, it's very easy peasy. The steps, I show you what to do, but it's really easy and it doesn't take any time to do. Okay, first thing I got here, this was 78 cents. It's one of those little soap dispensers. I've been seeing these on people's hauls and I, I don't know, I thought it was cute. I don't know if it's going in the upstairs bathroom or the downstairs bathroom, but for 70 cents, why not? It does come in three pieces. Okay, so you're going to stick this little doohickey in there and then you got your little suction cup, but I got the gray. It's got these little rivets, but you stick your bar of soap in there and it can just drain out like that for you, the soapy water. Um, you just suction cup it to the corner of your tub or wherever you want to set it. And like I said, I don't know if it's going downstairs or upstairs bathroom, but I thought that was just a nice little gadget. And I, I kind of like, you know, the way it looks. Oh, it's kind of cleaner than just sitting the bar of soap, which I've always done on the edge of my tub. So there's that. And... Oh, okay. These are little silicone bottle caps and we camp a lot. Our camper is getting worked on right now. So we have not went camping yet this year. Oh my gosh. Um, these are 97 cents. Oh my gosh, they packed them good and tight. There's six of them in here and these are like silicone bottle caps, bottle caps. They say beer savers, but I mean, you can use them for the pop bottles, your little wine coolers, your, you know, whatever. Um, 97 cents for six. This is what they look like. Just says beer saver, but you got your pink, you've got a red, you've got a blue, you've got a green, you've got an orange, and you've got a black. So yeah, you got six. And they're nice and thick. And see how thick they are. I mean, you can, they're going to be easy to wash. They go flip inside out. So I thought those were nice. Um, Cause you know, the bees, the flies, all the bugs when you're outside, even sitting on your porch, even if you're not camping or something, just sitting on your porch. It's like they gravitate toward your drink. Um, kind of nostalgic for me. They took me back a little bit. I paid $288. I don't know. I could almost say $288 for both, but I paid for each one. And it just reminded me of, what does it kind of remind you of? It reminded me of the Tupperware. Yeah. The salt and pepper shakers back in the day when Tupperware was really, really big. And they had it in the green, the white, the brown. You know, and it just had an S on it, like a long S, a long P. But it just reminds me of stuff that I grew up using. So, I don't know. I I wanted to get them just for that reason, and I have no other reason. But they don't snap. You won't hear them snap, but they are shut. As you can tell, you just kind of push down, and it clamps really good. They got it in red. I want to say they had other colors, but I don't remember. So you got your salt and pepper shaker. I'm going to use those for the camper. But yep, you just pop that little lid off, fill her up. Snaps on there real good and tight. So my nails look awful. They need done. I don't know why. It was just both my pointer fingers. Those are the only two that broke. Anyway, I hope everybody had a blessed Mother's Day. I did. My kiddos came over Saturday. 
And if anybody's watched my hauls out there, you guys probably know I'm a Mario junkie. I love Mario. That's what I grew up on. So we played the Switch and Mario Kart. We got pizzas and I enjoyed my time with my kiddos. I had a, an awesome day. This was $6.78. I saw this in another haul and I loved it and I wanted it. I got it. Okay. These are magnetic measuring spoons. And I just think that's so cool. They're not gonna take much space in your drawers. The top one is just your leveler, but the magnet is right there. It is brown, okay? Your neck, and they've got a good, here. I mean, they, they, they do, they stick together really well. Leveler, and then you got this one. I can't read upside down. It looks like 1 8 teaspoon. And let's turn that upside down so I can stack them. And you got one fourth. Maybe I have it upside down. I think I do. I'm sorry. One fourth teaspoon. And then you got the one third teaspoon. Three fourths teaspoon. And then you, as you see too, you've got your dry and your liquid. One teaspoon one third tablespoon <laughs> as you can tell they've got a good grip on each other one tablespoon so it's just like that i think keep showing it to you upside down i think these are so cool and they won't take much space at all and the magnetic part is just awesome stays together really nice love those so excited to use them Okay, I thought these were cute. First, let me get these. I've seen them. Yeah. Oh, they're falling out. Okay. Um, I paid forty-four cents. I know this sounds really silly, but I have thin earlobes, so on this ear here, it didn't take much. I literally just think I pulled or something, and it didn't split like rip completely. But I don't have a perfect circle now. I it's kind of like long. To where it's ripped so if i put an earring in it drops so i stopped wearing earrings for a long time and i saw these on timu and maybe they've had them other places i just never saw them but they're made like this oh, I just spilled them. can you see that how round and then they've got like the little metal there but this reason right there how flat and big that circle is I can actually wear my earring now. It holds it in place so much better. If I use a regular backing, it could actually go through my hole, which is really disgusting, but true. So I got these and I am able to start wearing my earrings again. And I am so excited about that. Um, I think it comes like in a pack of 50, but they just come in this little bag but for that reason alone, I'm able to start wearing earrings. I bought some cute earrings and I was so excited to buy earrings. It has been so long. $1.37, let's just cut it, for these right here. Look, <laughs> they're so stinking cute. I don't know what kind of cow this is, but I've seen pictures of these cows and everything all over. So it's like a popular thing. Even in Hobby Lobby, I've seen them. But they've got this little hook. There's your hook. And here's the little cute cow. It even has a sunflower on its head. Look at that hair. It's so cute. And then it is actually two-sided. So it's, some of them will be solid color on one side, but yeah, you have the same thing on both. It's like a little faux leather and they're really lightweight. So even though I've got these backs now to help me wear my earrings, um, I'm still looking for light. I don't want heavy on my ears. I don't want to take that chance again. But yeah, sometimes they still slide down. I just adjust it, but oh my gosh, I'm so happy to be able to wear my earrings again. And then, I feel like I showed this, but maybe I didn't. Um, I bought more of these. I loved it. I bought them in an, another haul. I showed them and I didn't know really quite know how to work it, but my husband did it for me downstairs and it was so easy. It's just, I felt kind of flustered and didn't want to take the time to do it on here. 
but you literally you put your toothpaste, the bottom of it there, and you stick this little key looking thing in here and you just start rolling it and it squeezes all your toothpaste up to the top. So I don't know, it's just kind of like a little ingenious little thing and it sits flat. We just have it in there sitting in our bathroom. So it sits level. It's a nice thick plastic, I paid 18 cents for it. I've got one for downstairs. I need one for this bathroom, for the camper, my mom, the kids. Get them just for backup because they are plastic, they can break. But for that price, yeah, why not? And I loved my black ones so much, I bought me another pair. These were the khaki, and these are the size six to seven. I'm pretty sure it's what my, and I'm normally a seven and a half. They fit. I, I kind of have fat feet, little bedrock Flintstone feet. So in a way, and I don't think it matters if I went longer because they fit perfect. I like how they fit. My heels right in the back, just like it should be. My toes to the top, but I have fat thick feet. And I don't know, maybe the more I wear them, it'll get better. But just right up here, it's just real tight, you know. It's, I don't know. It's just, I have fat feet. So I have problems with stuff that doesn't give me much space or doesn't, you know, stretch. But I do think maybe wearing these a little bit, they will start to stretch out, I hope. But these are so lightweight. They're so comfortable. I mean, look at the thick, thickness of that. They're very, very comfy. One side's cut out. Um... This side doesn't look like it's quite cut out very well. This one's fine, but it looks like I'm gonna have to get that plastic stuff off there myself, That, but that's okay. I'm not gonna gripe. It was $3.69 for these shoes. We can't, these would be perfect for the shower house. You don't ever wanna use those shower houses and I have something on your feet and at least these will dry quick. But yeah, normally I'm a seven and a half about everything I wear, but these are a six to seven and I can wear them. If you have a slimmer foot, perfect. Like I said, I don't think it matters if I go to an eight. I don't think it's going to make that part bigger. It's just the length, but um, they fit fine. I'm, I'm fine with them, but oh, and I am not sponsored, but it seems like anything with clothes, clothing or anything on some of the halls where they say they're not sponsored always comes in a zipper bag. So it's not the big fancy orange Timu bags, they're just regular little bags. I buy all this stuff myself. I'm not gonna get it out, it's just another one, 18 cents. It's the toothpaste. Um, yay, I got some more earrings. But anyway, yes, I really hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. Um, I sure did. It's hard when your kids grow up. You don't get to see them as often as you want and everything. Everybody's busy going their own directions. So, the time I can get us all together under the roof, even if it's for a short amount of time, um, I enjoy every second of it. So, these right here are adorable. I love them. They've got like a little sparkle there to them on the silver part. And these are, same way, real light. It's the faux leather, has the hook. Um, I haven't tried those backings with this kind of an earring yet, so I'm just like crossing my fingers. And if it doesn't work, um, our daughter will probably wear these, but at least I know I can still wear this kind of earring. So these are really cute. I love this saying, so does our daughter. That's another pair of earrings, and these were $1.16. And it's and I love the colors. It's got like your leopard up there, or your cheetah print. And then it says perfectly and perfect. It's got your little turquoise blue. It's still the same feel, the faux leather, very lightweight, very well made. They're very nice. Love those. Love them. Love them. Okay, and I'm not gonna put those on until I clean them anyway. I don't like putting stuff like that on because you just never know. I paid $3.38 for this and I have a 2015 Rubicon, a Jeep, and she's white, accented in black, and I love these little badges. You can do them for your cars and your trucks, but I love decorating my Jeep with this, and this is not to offend anybody. Just me and, me and my husband, we liked it, so 
picked it for the Jeep. And these are so much cheaper than what they are on Etsy. Oh my gosh, yes. But it just has the little sticky on the back and you'll peel that off, clean your area with alcohol or, you know, cleaning product for your vehicle and just stick that right on there once it dries and you'll put it on there. So I've got a few on it already and I like it. Just something fun to dress her up. So. Alrighty. Oh, this was so cool. So cool. It's one of those things Timu has about everything you can think of. Put it in the search bar, you'll find it or something similar, and you'll find stuff you never even thought of. And you're thinking, and then when you see it, you're like, how did I ever live without that? Well, this is one of those little ingenious things. I'm so happy I found them. I can't remember I saw them on a haul if I just random found it scrolling through. But we have those little garden stakes, and we put them at the campground. Got the little vinyl flags, you know, cute little stains. Well, they're kind of hard to put on a little bit, but not hard for the wind to take off because I came back to the campground and they'll be laying in the yard or across the way. But these little things here are made like a good thick silicone. I did get these out already. Look at them. I thought they were so cool. And it looks like a little flower. Okay. Just a little flower. Got the hole there. You literally put it on the end and bring it to your flag. And it's supposed to be tight with the, the metal on the stake and it will keep it in place so it doesn't blow away. <clears throat> 208 for six. If this works, y'all, it's going to be the best little two dollars I spent in a long time. Yes, I just, because it's so frustrating every time you, and it's, you go outside and it's halfway hanging or it's off completely. Yeah, we'll show it who's boss now. Okay, on this haul, I also got my first clothing item. So that's all of that one. So we'll see what we think of the clothes. Oh, and then my makeup. I love this makeup. Um, yeah. I've already got one. And I said in another haul to be careful because I didn't think I was pushing hard, but... I pushed on it one morning getting ready for work and the top broke. So I kind of just dab my little sponge that come with it and I'll get it, which it's goopy because the protector's not on it. And I'll just put it on my lid, work it around and I just dab it through my skin and even it out. So I've made it work. I was not going to throw it away, but this is a cute little box. It's a little face cream. My other one had little deer, little animals on it, but you turn it you pull it off. And you get this little sponge here. And when you dab it, you got this cute little design. Isn't that cute? It's so satisfying. You can see the design on there too. And it's on here. But yeah, I thought that was so cute. I know it's so satisfying. I no idea, but just me. Just kooky me. Okay, yeah, this is literally what I've been doing with the other one. I get a bunch and I put it there, get and put it on. I made it work. Okay, but I'll probably order more because it's just one of those things. What if they quit selling and I can't find that nowhere? So I just want to make sure I have a couple backup. But since the one broke, that's mainly my reason for buying one. But I probably will get another one for the purpose of having an extra. So there's that. Just comes in this little box. Okay. And got this little shelf here. How kind of noisy. I've seen these in the halls too. Comes with little directions. It's that corner shelf that you put in your shower. It's just made of wire, black wire. So it just goes in the corners. It came with two adhesive strips. You just peel the back and it's got these little hooks here, right here. So it will just, when you get it on there, it'll just clip right to it like that when you have it on there. And you'll put one on this, one on each side of it. But yeah, it just goes in the corner and here's my little Stanley cup. But yeah, you've got plenty of room for stuff. This is my little Timu cup. I just love it. 
I want one in every color. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I got that. And shoot. I want to say that was six something. And I've got, I'm using my phone so I can't look. But it'll be on my link. So, but yeah, I thought that was really nice. You always kind of need more space in the shower for all of our little smelly good stuff. And here's my shirt that I got. Let's take a look. $6.99 is what I paid. Okay, I'm 4'11", so I am short. Wow. I just look like I threw myself together before I got on this video. Okay. I like the quality. The quality of it is really nice. The stitching is good. And I've noticed in a lot of the hauls, there's usually not a... Sometimes it might say extra large or large, like a little sticker, but it never has like the, um, your size tag on the back. But yeah, stitching is good. What it says is, cowboy, take me away. I just thought that was so cute. And let's see. Yeah, it seems a little short. My shirts go down here. It's going to be up here. So, it's not going to be with my leggings, that's for sure, because I have a poofy booty. I got me a little bit of a backside. So, I like to wear long shirts when I wear my leggings, and I love leggings. I'm going to have to go on this, and I'm going to. A good old health journey. School, we're counting down single, single digits. School's going to be out. Gonna start walking, giving up my pop again for water, and I've got to get more healthy. I'm 45, I'm not a teenager no more where I can just eat what I want to eat and not see the results of the choices I'm making. Um, so I need to be more healthy. So I'm gonna try to give that a go this summer, and I do have a goal of what I want to lose. So my husband even said he'd walk with me in the park, so. We'll see. I've walked by myself before. I'll take my dog with me in our stroller and stuff, but maybe he'll do it with me. It might be more motivating to have somebody with you, but I do like that shirt. I believe I got it in an extra large. I don't know what an XXL looks like, but I'm a little busty at the top, so I'm hoping it doesn't feel like with the quality of the shirt. It's like a really soft cotton, but not this cotton, like 100% cotton, so... I'll probably flip it inside out too just to make sure nothing happens to the picture or anything like that on it but I do think it's cute I like it so I think it'll fit okay just don't want it to shrink because right there is the size that I want it I don't want it to shrink all right let's move some of this over and let's go to bag number two okay All right, I do have my prices all on here too. $6.99 and it is in the color coffee. I got this from my husband. Ooh, it feels really nice. Um, got him this Carhartt hat. The stitching looks really good. I bought a hat once before. It was kind of wonky. It wasn't straight, even lines. This one looks good. It's got the little leather badge up there. Um, it is your Velcro. Not a mesh back, but the solid. Oh, that's nice. And it's got that sewn into it where it says Carhartt. Um, wow, well, it's even got the Carhartt tag inside. Yeah, this is a really nice hat. So I got that for my hubby. He'll like that. For sure. Okay. I got this one for me. It's a Carhartt also. But I'm seeing right off the bat that it's not made probably as well as his. I got the mesh, but I don't care if it's solid in the back or the mesh backing. But I do like that. It's the same as this one. Or you can... Um, 
have a high ponytail, low ponytail, wherever you want to put it. Velcro back. It's good. In, it's good Velcro. But where I'm saying it doesn't, I, and I love the distressing. I, I love the color. Love the distressing. But it is just like a a vinyl print on here. It's nothing sewn into it. But it's still really cute. I do like it. Um, and some of them, sometimes you get this stuff, it's kind of smashed and wonky, you know, all jobbled up. But wear it on your head, smishing it the way you need. I've This is a Timu hat. It came the same way. Fits fine. It's one of my favorite ones because this pretty much just explains me. Hot mess, just doing my best. <laughs> so, but yeah, pretty. I love the color. Okay, this is another one of my hats. Maybe. I have these smuggled in the bag. Cute. It's kind of smushy too. This one, you know, one of mine had the plastic in them. But, cute. It says America. It's distressed. It's in the khaki. Has the American flag patch. This is sewn in. Um, the stitching looks good. I'm all about that stitching. Um, yeah. Looks really nice. It's adjustable. So, yeah. I do like... I feel like that's probably going to be one of my, even though I love that blue-green one, I feel like this is going to be like one of my favorite camping hats. Um, oh. Like I said, I'm not talking politics, not doing that at all. We are purchasing things off of Timu, like everybody else, stuff that we like. So it's not to offend anybody, but I purchased it, so I'm going to show everything that I pur purchased. Um, I paid $1.78 for this. I did tell you what I spent on that American. That America hat, that khaki one was three thirty-eight or four forty-nine. No, the cyan that the Carhartt that I got was four forty-nine, and the other one was the three thirty-eight. The car, um, the American one, dollar seventy-eight. This is just a Trump vinyl sticker, just to go on my husband's car. Um, they've got them in black. They had them in red, red, black, different things. It's just had a distressed flag and it says Trump 2024. So I got that for him. Okay. Oh, got this little ring. I love their costume jewelry. I am like accumulating that. I've even bought some little containers to keep it in. This is a size six. It's like a little star. I don't know. It's double bagged here. That's good though. Keeps it good and protected. Nothing happened to it. Um, it's just this little ring. You get too close. It's like it's blurry. I want it to focus, but hopefully it is. But it's a little shimmery. It's a six, so it'll probably go on my ring finger yeah very cute nice dry wrinkled up hands goodness Whew. but yeah that is so cute i like that all my rings right now except my wedding band of course are timu i got the affinity one right here and then i've got this one and then the one that i just put on so I'm actually going to take that off and put it over here. I've not had any problems with, not saying it won't, but what I buy is 0.925 sterling silver, and that was one too. Um, may eventually turn my finger green, but for right now, they're nice. And for that, the prices that they are, um, I'm not going to complain. And if I lose them, I won't be heartbroken because I'm not going to be out a lot of money. So, yeah. Oh, I got this for my mom. I told you guys earlier in this video I was making her a little goodie box. This was $8.49. It's so stinking cute. Oh. Okay, each one of these has a magnet on the back. And this is Gnomes. 
I love gnomes. I think they're adorable. They have so many cute gnomes on here. I bought a couple so far, and I tell you what, I would, I could do a haul easily with just gnomes. Okay, cute. I don't really know how long this is. Maybe not quite 12 inches. It's pretty nice and thick, it's like a little wood. But it spells love, and I think they had another one that was like family. But you just stick these little things on their little magnet, and that one's for fall. Cute. Let's see what we got here. Live life in full bloom. So that's just kind of cute for spring. Cute, cute. <laughs> I have no idea, but he's cute. And he's probably crooked, but yeah. Isn't that so cute? I just love gnomes. Um, snuggle with gnomies, it's cold outside, or snuggle gnomies, it's cold outside, and his coffee mug says get cozy. How cute. My mom is going to love this, you guys. I can't wait to see her. My birthday's June 1st. Hers is the 14th. We didn't get to celebrate Mother's Day. So I'm so excited to go down there. We're gonna celebrate our birthdays together. We're gonna have the 4th together, which here's your 4th of July guy. Celebrating with a bunch of fireworks. Enjoy the little things. Isn't that the truth? We get so busy sometimes, guilty. Um, just let those moments go by sometimes that we need to stop and take in because they're gone at the blink of an eye. I am guilty too. We just live in such a fast paced world anymore. I wish things would slow down. Okay. Oh, he's got just some little like glue strings or something on there. But this is cute. He's for Thanksgiving. So, yeah. <laughs> um, little St. Patty's guy. St. Patrick's Day. Isn't he cute? Be my Nomi. So I would assume that is for Valentine's Day. He's cute. I like that one too. Oh, my favorite. I've just found my favorite. This is definitely for Halloween. Look at them little witch gnomes. They got their little pot brewing and their little brooms. Ooh, I don't like the spider. Little pumpkins. Come on. That is so cute. So cute. Two more. Merry Christmas. Oh yeah, gotta have a Christmas one for sure. That is so cute. He's holding a strand of lit up lights. Adorable. And here's the last one. It's for Easter. Happy Easter, Nomies. Look at that. Got his little Easter basket of eggs. Easter bunny ears. Yeah, yeah. That's a winner. Mom is going to love that. She's going to love it. Here, I'll just set it there, but I definitely want to put it back in the bag because I want her to open it. Actually, I'll probably get a little cute gift bag. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get her a gift bag. That's so cute. Oh, speaking of the flags, I did get us one. This was $3.38. It is a... 12.5 width and the length is 18 inches. I just love this. It's so patriotic. It's good for the 4th of July. It's good for any time. But it says thank you. See, it's got the flag. I really like that. I love the old. It's got the dog tags on it. And the boots are all worn. But isn't that nice? It's that vinyl kind of material. It's real nice and thick. Yeah, let's see this come off of my little stake now that I've got my little grippers to go on there. Stitching looks good. Straight. I really like that. Really, really like that. Okay. Um, just a couple more things. Oh, clothes. Once again. This is to not to offend anybody. We buy the things that we like and we're going to use, okay? And this is just something we like. Got this for the hubby. 
and I got it in an extra large in the men's and once again there's like no tag but stitching is nice Ooh, this material is so it's not cotton like what I have on it's different though it's but it's nice he's gonna like this and it's kind of stretchy it's not really the dry fit I don't know but it's in khaki I stand with Trump okay just got him this shirt I got it in an extra large in the men's so there's that a few more things actually guys and I will be done yep end of that bag okay let's see oh this was a dollar did I see how much that shirt was I'm pretty sure I did it was $8.79 for that shirt I think I said that this is a dollar seven. It is a Trump keychain. Okay, I just got it from a heavy. Make America Great Again. It's got a little flag over here on the side. But yeah, it's it's hard and it's hollow in here, so it's really cute. A little baseball cap. But for a dollar seven, got two more rings. The .925 sterling silver. I like I said, I'm sure one day they'll turn my finger green. Maybe they won't, but I'm liking them so far. Oh, hello. Okay, the one I have on is an eight, and actually it comes off too easy. And then if I'm doing dishes or my hands are wet, it almost pretty much slides off my finger. But it was 87 cents and this time I got it in a seven so let's see maybe my daughter will want the eight see it's I can't oh I can't wear it though darn let's see about this finger okay well I like it on this finger sure do yeah that looks nice. I am happy with that. And then I'll just swap it. It's so weird. This this ring would not fit this finger. This ring just came off this finger. And it fits. I mean, it's snug as a bug in a rug. But a little twisty there. I got it off. Isn't that weird? Okay. I might see if she'll do the eight. I almost wore it as like a thumb ring. But there's still too much give there. I just, I can't do that. So, 87 cents for that. Um, this is another ring, 0.925. Sterling silver, size seven. It's like a wedding band, but you don't have to use it for what it says. Um, it's really pretty. It's a nice, nice thick band. And it's sparkly there. Very pretty ring. Um, I say it was a seven, yeah. Um, hmm. Oh, too big for that. Okay, well, I don't know. I'm getting too many rings and not enough fingers. <laughs> oh, well, it looks like it's gonna fit on this finger too. Let's do a little twisty roo here. Maybe. Well, yeah, but I don't like that snug of a feeling. This one is much better. Oh, well, I've never, it feels weird. I've never wore a ring on my middle finger, but then having three of them like that, ew, I, no, I don't like that feeling, but it fits that finger. But you know what? Just change up. It's costume jewelry, jewelry, and it's cheap, so... Just wear whatever I'm in the mood for, right? All right. Three more things. This was mine. Oh, forgot. Had the zipper. Okay. I am a 70s girl. I was born in 77, June 1st. And then look. What does it say again? 
made in the 70s. Love that. It's nice and big. Oh yeah, this thing goes all the way down to my knees almost. Love that. Pretty sure, oh, well this one has a tag, but that's what I'm saying. You might see that in them, but you won't see your standard tags. This is very, very soft inside. I love that right there, yes. But this is like a, it's not your normal sweatshirt material. It kind of, feels kind of, it's very soft, but it feels kind of foamy. I'm not gonna get it right describing, I don't know. The stitching is very nice. The seams are all good, yeah. Oh, I'm definitely gonna wear it. I totally like this. I think it's cute. Okay, cute, cute. I paid $10.69 for that sweatshirt. $10.69. And I got my husband another shirt. Paid $7.09 for it. I'm not sponsored. These are just regular little zip bags that come usually with clothes or even some shoes. Now this is like dry fit material right off the bat. His has the extra large thing. Stitching is good. I like the stitching. Yep. Yeah, this is like a dry fit. I like that. Oh, he'll love that. It's an extra large and he wears an extra large and this looks like it'll fit him just fine. This says, stomp my flag, I'll stomp your booty. And it's got a shoe through the booty. And then it says, Patriotic American on the bottom. So, yeah. So, yep. Let me see if I can get it back here for you. So, that's the shirt. And it's, yes, it's nice material. He'll like it. It's, it's like a dry fit, but, yeah. I guess you could say it's that. Yeah, he'll like this. This is really nice. Okay. And the last thing is for our daughter. She's been wanting one of these. We paid $9.88 for it. It's a budget journal. She liked the white marble. Ooh, this is really soft too. Yeah, it's soft and pillowy. She'll love this. It's accented in these gold corners. It looks of good quality. I mean, it doesn't look cheaply made. It doesn't even feel cheap made at all. Um, oh, this is the magnetic snap. Just goes right to it. Okay. What she got in here? Let's see. Oh, inside she can put little cards in. She can put her pen. Here's your rings for your stuff that came with it. And then she can put something there. Oh, this is nice. Oh, yeah. She'll like that for sure. Okay. And it stays closed good. Has these little budget sheets that she can put her own little notes on. Um, what are these? Different colored stickers. I guess she can put her notes on that also. Whatever she wants to put on there. And these are cool. Housing, food, clothing, care, gifts, pets, maintenance, personal car, entertainment, beauty, groceries, deposit, housing, miscellaneous. So she's got all these stickers that say all these different things. Transportation, rent, dining, shopping, bills, water, health, electric, income, insurance, savings, utilities. Wow, it covers about everything you can think of. She has more stickers there. And what's cool, these can go on the binder rings too. They have little cutouts there. Is this open or shut? But they open. And this is where they can put, <clears throat> excuse me. They can label these whatever they want. Write notes on there and label stuff. You label your little bags and they put their little money in there and they try to budget and save their money. So you get... One pack of 36, 24. I'm not sure how many sheets are here. I'd probably say 25, maybe. 
maybe more, but I'm guessing the low, low ball on it there. Two things of stickers, and she gets on these zipper things. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's awesome. And I've even seen that you can buy more stickers, you can dress it up even more, you can buy more of these, but I'd say you get to the point that it'd be so fat you wouldn't be able to shut it, but you can buy more fillers for them. So this is really nice. She's going to like that. All right, that is the two bags. That's what I had, you guys. So um, thank you so much for stopping by and taking a little bit out of your day, watching my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Awesome for the ones that are getting back money. So, um, yep, you definitely want to keep checking on those price adjustments. Like I said, if you're just jumping onto this haul here and you haven't watched any of my others, go to number 10 and somewhere in there, I don't know where the minute timeline is, but I'll have a step-by-step -step on how to get your price adjustments. It's good for 30 days from the date that you purchased. You can check it every day, once a week, whatever you wanna do. It's awesome. If you haven't checked out Timu, check them out. Even if you don't want to buy anything, what I waited and I watched hauls. I binge watch hauls all the time. Um, but I would go on Amazon. I'd find something on Timu and go on Amazon, find the exact picture a lot of times. And Amazon was so much higher, so much higher for the identical thing. Same picture, same description than what Timu was. And that's what got me going. I thought I'm going to make a haul and I'm going to try it myself. Once I received everything, saw my quality for my price, I jumped on the Timu bandwagon. I sure did. And I'm glad I did because I love everything I've gotten. I've had two things, issues. Timu straightened it right up, gave me full credit. I got to keep those two items. They may not always do that, but with those two items they did, they made it right. So, I mean, how can I complain? You get free shipping, 90 days return. You can pay through your debit card your um, Klarna, I don't know if it's after pay, but they have like payment plan things that you can do. Um, yeah, I could just go on and on if I could think of things, but I'm kind of going blank, but it's just, you need to try it for yourself once. Don't knock it, I guess, till you try it, maybe kind of thing. You don't have to make a big haul. Make a few little purchases. With your first time, if you've never ever ordered, you get a 30% off. I don't have that code because I'm not sponsored through Timu. But if you go on to some of the others, there's a lot of them that have a 30% off code and you will want to get that. Knocks down your order a lot. I used it on my first one. Unfortunately, I wish I had that for you guys, but I don't. So I'm going to sign off there and thank you guys so much again for watching. If you want to like or subscribe to my channel, that's, that's great. I enjoy this. It's fun. And I hope you guys are enjoying it too. And I hope maybe you found something in today's haul that you liked. If not... I hope you had a good old 48 minutes of listening to me rattle. <laughs> so, all right. Everybody have a blessed evening. And I do have more um, orders I'm waiting on. So, you guys will see me again. All right. Bye.